Okay, so welcome everyone. Glad to have you here tonight. It's Tuesday night, 26th of January. And tonight is the core and stretch yoga class. So we're going to start, of course, with our breathing exercises. And uh, after the breathing, we're gonna do some bandhas. So those muscular contractions at the belly and also the mula bandha. And then we're going to start working on the core, the low back, the hips and the legs. We do a yogic flow, and then we're going to do some stretches for the same areas. Okay, so let's sit nice and tall in a very comfortable position, please. You can be, either be on a block or you can be on a pillow or you could be flat on the floor. Be sure that your shoulders are relaxed, your chest is lifted, and you should feel a curve in the low back. So it should curve inwards. Okay. Take some deep breaths in and out of the nose. And then we'll softly close our eyes. Continue breathing in and out through the nose. And just bring yourself into this present moment. We want to find some full presence and find an anchor to your body and anchor your mind there, bringing everything together, the mind, the body, and the spirit. Gently open your eyes. We're going to be doing a breathing exercise where we breathe in in levels. So we're going to do seven breaths in, seven breaths out. In order to do that, you're going to be like sniffing the breath in. So watch me first, I'm gonna go. And then I'll sniff it out. Okay, so when you sniff the breath in, you need to start very small. I didn't start very small. You need to start very small so you have enough space in the lungs that you can go up seven levels. And then you go small as well, breathing out seven levels. Okay, so sit up nice and tall, start small. Here we go. Now breathing out. Good, breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time, breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and breathing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Close your eyes and breathe normally. And again, connect your mind to your body and to your spirit. Good, open your eyes. Now we're going to be taking a deep breath in. We'll breathe all the air out of our lungs and we'll pull in the belly button for Uddiyana Bandha. So I'm gonna stand up here and just show you as if I'm in a seated squatting position. Here we go, we're gonna take a deep breath in, breathe all the air out of our lungs through the mouth and we'll pull the belly button in as tightly as possible. And we'll breathe back in again when we release. Okay, let's do that again, all together. Take a deep breath in, 
Breathe out through the mouth. Keep your mouth closed, no breaths. Pull the belly button in very, very tightly. Hold it in, hold it in, really tightly. Hold it. Hold it. Good. And then you lift your chin and you breathe in. Take some deep breaths. And here we go again. We're gonna anchor ourselves again. Close your eyes. Anchor your mind to your body and your spirit all together. Excellent, open your eyes, take a deep breath in, breathe everything out, <sighs> pull your belly in very, very tightly, pull in, 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 and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, releasing, breathe normally, close your eyes, Anchor your mind to your body and to your spirit. And we'll do that one more time. Open your eyes. Taking a deep breath in, breathe everything out through your mouth. No more breaths, pull the belly button in as tightly as possible, as tightly as possible. Hold it, five, good, stay with it, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Close your eyes, breathe normally, connecting your mind with your body and your spirit. Open your eyes. Well done. This next exercise, I'd like everyone to stand up, please. So if you're seated on the floor, maybe you would need to do some movements with the shoulders, with the back, and gently standing up. So here we go. We're going to be doing Uriana Banda with Mula Banda. So the Mula Banda is the perineum, the perineal floor, lifting upwards. And if you can imagine it's, it's a flat floor, you're gonna lift it up like a mountain, okay? Like a triangular mountain. So we'll place our hands just above our knees. We'll lean forward, keep the tummy free. You take a deep breath in, breathe everything out through the mouth. Now pull in the tummy as tightly as possible and pull the perineum up as tightly as possible into that mountain shape. Pull up, hold the tear. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up straight and breathe normally. Standing here, close your eyes and connect your mind with your body and your spirit. Opening your eyes, we'll do that two more times. Hands on to the thighs, just above the knees. Take a deep breath in, breathe everything out. <sighs> Pull your belly in, perineum up, hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, standing up. Hmm. Connecting your mind, closing the eyes to the body, to the spirit.
One more time. Here we go. Hands onto the thighs, just above the knees. Leaning forward, place weight on your hands. Deep breath in. Breathe everything out. Pull your belly button up and in. Perineum up. Holding five, four, stay with it. Three, two, one. Good job, stand up tall. Breathing in. Close your eyes. Connect the mind with the body and the spirit. Bravo, everyone. Bring your arms down. Shake out your arms a little bit. Shake your legs out a little bit. Good. And come standing at the front edge of your mat now. Feet hip width apart. Hips tilt back a little bit. You want to keep a natural curve of your low back. The knees are soft. We want to avoid locking the knees. So the knees are soft. Shoulders draw back. Chest lifts. Chin parallel to the floor. In this position, you should already feel a slight engagement of the belly, okay? It should be pulling gently inwards. Hands come to your heart center. Clasp the hands together and push the palms skyward. Taking a deep breath in, get long in the spine. Breathe out, lean to your right. Breathing in, let's rise back up. Breathing out, lean to your left. Breathing in, let's rise. Breathing out, lean to the right. Breathing in, rising. Breathing out to the left. Mm. One more time each side. Breathing in, breathe out to the right. Breathing in and out to the left. Back to center, palms together. Bring the thumbs into the upper back. Lift the chin, press your head against your forearms. Stretch back just ever so gently. And then rise back up. Now here, we're going to bring our hands down onto the thighs, just as before, as if we were going to do the bandhas again. And I want you to round your spine, look to your belly button. And then curve the spine, lift the chin, look to the sky. So this is a standing cat-cow. Breathing out, rounding, look to the belly button. Breathing in and curving, looking skyward. And again, let's breathe out, belly button. Breathing in, curving. One more time, let's breathe out, look to the belly button. Breathing in, we'll curve. And come back up to a standing position. Refine that perfect posture, hips back, chest lifted, belly in, hands to the heart center. Take a deep breath in and stretch your arms skyward. As you breathe out, fold, bending at the knees, bring the hands right down to the floor. Stepping your right leg back behind you, get into a lunge position and raise your left arm. Twist to your left. Then bringing your hands down, let's step our feet back to a plank position. A nice plank position, hips down, thighs are contracted, head is lifted. Lower your knees and lower your chest down to the floor. Pointing your toes, lengthen your legs behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades and rise to a little cobra position. Bring your chest back down to the floor. Push up onto the hands and knees. Tucking your toes under, let's rise to a downward facing dog position. Looking to your hands, begin taking some baby steps forward until you reach the front edge of your mat. From here, bend your knees low, set your hands to your thighs, lift to a chair position. So it's a supported chair position. Hands on the thighs, hips back, look forward, raise the arms up to the sky, 
and then come to a standing position, finding that perfect posture, arms straight, lift the chest, belly slightly in. Let's go again, hands come to the heart center. Deep breath in, let's rise, stretch skyward. As you breathe out, let's fold forward. Sending your left leg back this time. Raise your right arm and twist to the right. Setting your hands down. Let's step back to a strong plank position. Legs strong, belly strong, head lifted. Lower yourself down with or without your knees. Point your toes and lengthen your legs. Rise to a cobra. Bring the chest back down. Push back to down dog. Now we take our baby steps forward. Gently stepping forward until we reach the front edge of our mat. Bend your knees down low, hands to the thighs. Lift the chest and here we are in the chair position. Get your hips far back, belly in. Raise the arms. And then come up to standing, straightening the legs. Refine that perfect posture. Good. Hands to your heart center. We'll do that two more times. Deep breath in. Let's rise. Folding forward. Right leg back. Twisting to your left. Plank position. Moving to the floor with or without your knees. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Gently stepping your feet forward. Bend your knees low, hands on the thighs, help yourself up to the chair. Raising the arms, come to standing, perfect posture. Hands to your heart center, here goes the last round. Deep breath in, folding yourself forward. Left leg goes back, twist open to your right. Hands come down, plank position. Everything strong. Lower yourself down with or without your knees. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Stepping yourself forward. Bend your knees, rising up to the chair. Raising the arms. Come up and find your perfect posture. Excellent. Very nice. Let's raise our right knee up. Set your gaze at a point in front of you. Dropping the shoulders, lift through the chest. Relax the right foot. Now keep your left hand on the knee. And bring your right hand to your hip. Gently begin twisting to your right. Twist to your right, turning the shoulders. Turn your head. And maybe stretch the right arm out behind you and look to the right hand. Hold it here. See if you can get the shoulders turning, especially. Three, two, one, turning back, bring the foot down. Mm. Good, left knee, let's go. It's a little bit of a challenge, bring it up. Relax the left foot. Left hand goes to the left hip, turn your shoulders, turning your head. Stretch your left arm out behind you. See if you can turn your shoulders so much that you can look to the left hand. Turn the head and hold it. Three, 
two, one, coming back slowly and lower the knee down. Mm. Hands together at the heart center. Raise your right knee up. This time flex the foot. And I want you to lean forward, keep the knee bent and push the foot up towards the sky behind you. Reach your left arm out in front of you and reach your right arm behind. See if you can touch the heel without grabbing, just touch. Push the heel into the hand. Keep breathing here. Excellent glute work. Three, two, one. Come up to standing. Hands at the heart center. Whew. We'll do the other side. Bend your left knee. Flex the foot this time. Begin folding forward, pushing the foot up behind you. Knee bends. Reach your right arm out. Left hand comes to the left heel. Just touch with your fingers without grabbing. Push the heel up into the hand. Hold it here. Really good glue work. Three, two, one. Come on up to standing. Ay, yeah, yeah. Hands come to your hips. Bend your right knee. Now, this is going to be a nice little challenge. Knee goes out to the side. It's not our usual tree pose. I want you to lift the leg without touching the standing leg. Good. Bring your arms out to the sides and hold it here. Hold it here. Ay, ay, ay. Hold it. Gently stretch that leg behind you into an airplane position. Go right back, leaning forward, arms to the side. Stretch the leg behind you. Three, good, keep it there. A little bit of wobble is okay. Two, whoo, <laughs> I had too much wobble. Stay there. One, come on all the way up to standing. Ay, 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 shake out. Good job, good job. Hands to your hips. Get ready for the other side. Bring it out to the side so it's not the usual tree. We're not gonna touch the leg with the foot. I want you to lift it. Hold it here to the side and stretch your arms. Ay, ay, ay. Belly in, lift the chest. Three, two, one. Begin leaning forward and stretch the leg behind you until you get into that airplane position. That's it. Lift the leg behind you. Holding, lift the arms. Three, two, one, good job. Come all the way up to standing. Excellent, shake out your legs, shake out your arms. Very good work, everyone. Stick with me. Feet hip width, hands to your heart center. Sink down into a chair position. Hips go back, weight in the heels. Lift your chest, grab your hands behind you. And Magda, I'm thinking of you, this is good for you. Stretch your arms and squeeze your shoulder blades. Sink down nicely here. Hold the position, deep breaths. Lift the arms as much as possible. Sinking down. Three, whew, two, and one. Release the hands, fingertips touch the floor. Come to a halfway lift. Step back to a plank position, please, everyone. From your plank position, if it's too much for the shoulders, you can bring your knees down. If it's the hands or wrists that are bothering you, you can bring your elbows down. You can have your knees down or your knees up. If you're staying in the high plank, feel as if your hands are pulling towards your feet. Lift your head, everyone, and stay here Three more breaths. Two. And one. Good job. Lower the knees. Lower the chest. Bring the hands underneath the forehead and separate your feet on the mat. Relax for a moment. Couple deep breaths. Just letting go. 
good. And we'll lift our head, raise both legs, elbows stay on the floor, arms stay on the floor. I want you to bring your legs together so you can tap your heels together and then bring them apart. So as you breathe out, tap your heels. As you breathe in, bring your legs apart. Let's go, five more times. Five, apart, four, breathing out, and apart, breathing in. Three, squeeze tight, apart, two, and last one. Mm. Bring your legs down, bring your head down. Move your hips from side to side to be able to relax and let go. Good job. Okay. Come on up onto your elbows. And Gilles, you're going to love this after all the skiing. <laughs> Bend your right knee. And you can take your right hand and either grab the ankle or if you have a strap nearby, use the strap around the ankle or you could even grab your pant leg or your sock. Pull the heel towards the hip. Excellent stretch for the quadriceps. And every now and again, we need to get deep into the quadriceps to open them up. Turn your chest forward and just take some deep, slow breaths. When we're sitting all day, it's not that the quadriceps get tight, but they, they don't work, right? But when we're standing, they're working. So here, just stretching them out deeply is really good for them. Let's release, bring the hands down underneath the head and move your hips from side to side. Coming back up onto the elbows. We're gonna change sides, bend your left knee. If you want, grab a hold of the foot or the sock or the pant leg. If you have a knee issue, maybe you just wanna keep the knee bent like this. This is fine too. If you can grab the foot, bring the heel in towards the hip and turn your chest forward. Holding here while breathing deeply. Three, two, and one, let's release. Hands underneath the forehead, move the hips from side to side. All right, hands underneath the shoulders, push up onto your knees, and we're gonna do what's called falcon pose. We'll bring the right knee forward, cross the right foot in front of the left knee, okay? And you're on your knees and on your hands. This should be quite comfortable. If you wanna go deeper, you just bring the right knee a little bit farther out to the side. If not, keep the right knee pointing forward. Arch your low back and begin gently pulsing back with the hips. So gently and slowly, there should be no pull or pain on the knee. If there is, point the knee farther forward, okay? Pulsing back. And this is the replacement for the pigeon position. It's much gentler on the hips and it's just as efficient. Now press back and hold, bringing the elbows down. Keep pressing back, tilt the hips upwards as you hold three, two, one. Come on back up onto your hands, uncross the leg, and we change legs, left leg. Cross the foot in front. Okay. If the knee is bothering you, point it straighter front so there's less rotation in the knee socket. Or if it's okay with you, you bring the knee out to the side. There's a little bit more rotation there. Begin by pressing back, allow the low back to arch. And you just pulse back and forth very gently. You feel there's a lovely opening of the hips here. Good. And then we'll bring the elbows down 
and you'll begin pulsing back again. And hold the position, bring the hips back as far as possible. Tilting the hips up more is going to increase the stretch. Hold. And let's rise back up onto our hands. Uncross, swinging your legs around. Let's come to a seated position. If any of you have a low back issue, I recommend you hold the backs of your legs the entire time of this sequence, okay? We're going to be doing boat pose where we lift the feet up in front of us. You can point the toes and hold the backs of your legs. If your back is fine, you can stretch your arms by your legs. But if at any point you feel pulling in the low back, don't hesitate just to place your hands back at behind the legs. Lift the chest, lengthen the neck so you open up the front of the neck and the chin. We're gonna stretch our right leg out. Bring it back. Left leg, that's it. Good, bring it back. Belly is in the whole time, right leg. Bring it back. Left leg, Woo. bring it back. Right leg, back. Left leg, if this is enough, keep going with one leg. If you wanna go farther, both legs. Back again, three times. Both legs. And back, one more. All right, everyone, bring your feet down. Lift through your chest to release the low back. And then gently round the spine. It's like a seated cat and cow. Breathe in and curl. Breathe out and round. And again, we breathe in and curl. Breathing out, rounding. Once more, let's breathe in and curl. Breathing out, rounding. Excellent. Sit up a little bit taller and we'll bring our hands behind us. So I showed this position at the beginning of class. Okay, if you have any issue in the shoulders or in the wrists, you can do this on your elbows. It's a little bit less stressful, all right? But I would not lift up a foot. So if you're fine with the shoulders, hands and wrists, bring your hands flat, feet parallel. We're gonna lift the hips up to a reverse tabletop. We'll stretch our right leg out in front of us. Then we'll swing the hips back towards the hands and then back up again. We do this three times. Let's go. Three, whew, two, push with the left leg, one. Bring the foot back down, bring the hips back down. And here, just between the two series, bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide, Lift up through your chest, open the knees, and do a couple of, uh, of butterfly wings, up and down with the knees. Just let the wings go up and down gently, not too fast. Good. All right, let's lift the knees back up, feet flat, parallel, hands behind you, palms down. Lift the hips up for that tabletop. You can also do this on the elbows, but just keep the feet to get uh, on the floor. Let's go, left leg goes out. We swing down and up. Three more times, let's go. Three, two, last one. Down and up. Good, bring the foot back down. Come to a seated position. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. This time, instead of bouncing the wings, we'll just lean forward. Lean forward over the legs, lengthen out the back, lengthen your neck, and hold here. Good job, everyone. Raise the knees, set your feet flat, 
And let's roll down onto our backs. Feet, hip width, elbows into the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Let's lift the hips up. Squeeze the glutes, use your thighs. Open up the chest at the same time. Take some deep breaths here. Now we're going to raise the right leg up. Point the toe, lengthen out the leg, and we'll press higher five times, pulsing five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot back down, lift the hips up, stay here for three deep breaths. Let's go, left leg goes up, point the toes, stretch the leg, and we'll pulse. Five, four, three, two, good, one. Bring the foot back down, keep the hips up, three last deep breaths in the bridge pose. Arms up over the head, stretch your arms behind you, and one vertebra at a time, lower the back. Very, very slowly. So you can get the low back touching before the hips. And once you're all the way down, let's bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, and just relax and let go. Let's raise the knees up. Bring your arms down by your sides and place the hands underneath the glutes, okay? Bring your knees up, belly in. See if you can get your knees at 90 degrees. And allow the knees to fall towards your right. It's going to put pressure on your right wrist and hand. Pull the belly in and rise back up. Now, now allow the knees to fall to the left and rise back up. Take your hands out from underneath you, bring them by the sides of your hips. Do the same thing with your knees to the right. Belly in, rise back up. Then out to the left. Belly in, rise back up. Now bring your arms out to the sides. We're just prepping the back to be able to work properly. Here we go. Knees go to the right. Makes it a little bit more difficult. Pull the belly in and rise back up. Knees go to the left. Belly comes in and rise back up. Okay. Now we'll add on to this. Let your knees go to the right and stretch your left leg. Rise back up with the left leg straight, re-bend the knees. Let's go to the left, stretch your right leg. Rise back up, use the belly to pull the legs back up. To the right, let's go. Left leg stretches, rise back up. To the left, breathe in as you twist, breathe out as you lift back up. To the right, breathe in, Left leg stretches and rise back up as you breathe out. To the left, right leg stretches, breathe out as you rise back up. One more time each side, let's go. To the right, leg stretches and lift, and to the left. 
Right leg stretches and lift. Bring the knees to the chest. Rock gently from side to side. Well done, everyone. Set your hands on your kneecaps and draw a circle in one direction with both knees. Change the direction. Keep the right knee up against the chest. Stretch your left leg onto the floor. Now in this position, you're already stretching out a muscle at the front of the hip called the psoas iliac muscle. Make a nice big circle with the right foot to release any tension in the foot and in the ankle. Change the direction of the circle. We'll flex the foot, grab behind the thigh, stretch the leg to the sky, keeping space between your low back and the floor. So you tilt your hips back and make a curve. I want you to grab the right thigh, pull it down towards the earth. It helps to lock the femur bone into the hip socket and that's what we want. We want it set in properly. Flex your right foot as much as possible and you're gonna feel the back chain of the leg stretching. You can have the knee slightly bent, or if you wanna go for it, see if you can straighten the leg completely. Keeping the low back curved. Continue deep, slow breaths. Allow yourself just to calm down and to relax into the floor. Rebend that right knee. Get the right foot next to the inner thigh of the left leg and allow that knee to fall to your left. Reach your right arm out to the side for a spinal twist. Good, go back onto your back. Bring the knee to the chest and lift the nose to the knee. Let's change legs. Lift your left knee up, up against the chest. Right leg stretches out and then opens up that hip flexor. Nice big circle with the left foot. Change the direction. And we flex the foot, grab behind the thigh, and we gently straighten the left leg. We're gonna pull the thigh down into the hip socket. Make sure you have curve in your low back. There's a space between the low back and the floor. And you pull the leg down. Flex the foot even more, and you should feel the whole back chain stretching. If possible, see if you can straighten the leg. It increases that stretch. Holding and breathing. Bend the left knee. Bring the left foot to the inner right thigh and let the knee fall to your right. Spinal twist. Look towards your left hand. And again, just allow yourself to sink into the posture. Pulling back onto your back. Bring the knee to the chest. Lift the head, nose to the knee. And then both knees up, nose in between the knees. Lower your head. Set your feet flat as wide as the mat. Reach your arms out as if you want to touch your feet. Turn the palms to the sky and bring the backs of the hands down onto the floor. 
Then gently slide your feet along each edge of the mat until your legs are straight out onto the floor and allow the toes to roll out to the sides. Gently turn your head from side to side, relaxing the neck and the throat. And then allow your head to be looking up towards the sky. Taking deep, slow breaths. And come back to that idea of connecting your mind to your body and to your spirit. See if you can anchor yourself. All the different facets that make up who you are. Anchor them all together. Bringing in them into that special package. One in seven billion. Imagine now that you're up on top of a mountain, looking out over the rest of the world. Seeing the things that are good about the world. Seeing the things that are not so good. But accepting what there is. Accepting life as it is right now. And up there on your mountaintop, send compassion. Send forgiveness. Send a healing energy.
Imagine yourself back on the mountaintop. And all around you is green grass, flowers. birds and butterflies. It's warm and it's peaceful. And you allow yourself to relax even more on your mountaintop. having faith that everything is going to be okay. In breathing more deeply into the belly. Without pushing down, you just expand out to the sides, top and back of the belly. And breathe out. Let the next breath in. Breathe out through the mouth. Three times. Let's go. Begin moving your fingers, begin moving your toes. Raise your arms up over your head and stretch from fingers to toes. Bring your knees up to your chest and squeeze your knees tightly against your chest. Rocking from side to side, slowly let the knees rock. And now, when you bring your knees to the right, turn your head to the left, and vice versa. Knees to the left, head to the right. Knees to the right, head to the left. Knees to the left, head to the right. One more time each side. Coming back to center, lift your head again, nose between the knees. Raising your head, let's roll all the way onto our right hand sides. Setting your hands down, lift up from the side and come to an easy seated position. Good job, good. And let's rub our hands together. Bring your hands over your face, gently tapping around the eyes. Let's shake the hands out. I'm just getting prepared for our evening. Let's go again. Rub your hands together over the face. Gently tap around the eyes. And then bring your arms across your body. Grab a hold of your shoulders and your shoulder blades and give yourself a big squeeze. Just really squeeze. Oh, nice big hug. 
and relax. Let's bring our hands to our heart centers. I wish you all an absolutely lovely evening. Namaste. And thank you very much. Good job. Nicely done, everyone.